So what is the scope of fintech and what are the technologies used for it? In terms of scope of fintech, there's a whole lot of scope of fintech. So for example, this whole UPI based payments, Google Pay or Paytm or whatever, right. that changed our life completely. Now, I don't have my wallet. It's, there was in uh, 25 years, it's last two, three years, two years, where suddenly the wallet has disappeared from the pocket because you don't need it anymore. You don't carry cash, you don't uh, carry cards anymore. It's just the phone most of the time. So that is fintech. It's a world, life and world changing technology that uh, that has happened in our times. I mean, actually, the mobile phone is what has made it happen, but even fintech is changing things like that. That's one side of it, the customer side. But there's a lot of other interesting things that fintech is doing, right? So, for example, profiling uh, people's credit worthiness based on a lot of different things, right? So there are fintech companies which are doing that and providing that information to banks who give loans and so on and so forth. There's, there's a lot of different things happening. Payment gateways are all also fintech, simplifying international payments. So uh, like if you have a business which is selling outside India, getting that money back used to be a nightmare uh, till recently, right? but not anymore. Now it's a lot simpler where you can get paid internationally and the money flows to your Indian bank account quite seamlessly. So. That's what fintech has made possible. And there's a bunch of other things. In terms of career options, it is a tech heavy industry in many ways. So you need to understand how technology works. You need to understand there is something called an India stack, which has all your information on it, right? Which makes stuff like Digi Yatra, UPI, all that possible because that information is stored there. And then how does this finance company call that information then verifies. So the uh, Aadhaar verification that you do with the fingerprint or with the face recognition, that goes, gets that information from somewhere. Right? And that matches here, but that information is it's possible because that whole infrastructure has been set up. Right? So that's a very base level understanding you need to have of how that technology works. And then the whole finance side of it, which you guys are all studying anyway, that gets applied to that technology to build different kinds of solutions. Right? So some do that whole loan kind of a solution, some do payment solutions. There are lots of other ways in which uh, things are getting solved. But it's creating a lot of career options which didn't exist until recently. If you want to talk more in detail of any particular aspect of it, we can jump into it.